Um, so perhaps for the people who don't know uh, what is degrowth, you, you kind of explain at the preface that the goal of degrowth is to purposefully slow things down in order to minimize harm to humans and earth systems. Yeah. Uh, so w is that definition uh, the one you generally use or what, what do you use as a definition? I mean, in, in every instance, I give a different definition. <laughs> My most Reinvent cited one, yeah, my most cited one is a 2008 one, which I think is the worst we gave because it was the very, the very first one we gave. But that's the one that it's uh, like an equitable reduction of throughput or something like that. I don't remember. Oh boy, um, very engineering, yeah. Very engineering, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then people who are more from social science and more like politically motivated with the growth hate this definition because they say, "What is this?" You know, it's like a, what is it's a must. What do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, I think on every instance I give a slightly different one, but I think uh, this is fine. Uh, I, I had a debate with my colleague, Jürgen van der Berg, and we exchanged also articles, he, because he's very meticulous in like, okay, how do you exactly define it? How are you measuring it? You see here you're inconsistent, you know? And, and I think like that the is world is- Is he an engineer is, or a natural scientist? He's an economist, but I, oh, I learned now that he studied operational research, so. Okay. So if you've done this type of thing, you, you think in terms of maximizing, minimizing particular variables, et cetera, um, which I think is good. Eh? This is pushing you to be rigorous and consistent. Yeah. I'm, I'm not denying that. Yeah, but at yeah. the same time, as I argued with him, there are some words like equality, for example, that of course you operationalize it on particular context, but there is not the perfect definition of equality. But when you hear the word equality, <clears throat> you kind of understand what it talks about, right? You understand mm -hmm. what is inequality, for example. And then, and then, of course, there are all sorts of different theories of what is equality about. There are like... Of course, you can have like a equality that still is growing the economies and you have equality that is still exploiting people. So, I mean, this is how oh. people manipulate as well terms to... No, no, I'm, I'm not talking only about manipulation, but I mean, like, once you start, once you want to get to the specifics of what is equality, you can have all sorts of different theories, like from liberal theories to conservative theories to Marxist theories to and different understandings of equality. But at the same time, uh, the word, if, if I tell you, you know, we are in an unequal society or inequalities are increasing, more or less you understand what it means. Then we can debate the numbers and how. So I feel with the growth is a little bit the same. Like when you hear the growth, more or less you understand what it talks about now. Um, but then I can give you a very specific. It? What is it? Is it a concept? It's a political ideology? Is it a, a research field? What, what is as well, you know, uh, degrowth? Because you can give me a definition, but it also sometimes it's, it, uh, you know, it stays in the air between things. And I, I don't know if we need to anchor it or it's good that it has a looser uh, element into it. I mean, I try to anchor it. That's what I said. That's what I would say in its paper. I, I'm trying to anchor it and I give a definition, but the definition tends to be different from paper or book to book precisely because there is a different purpose in this. So I want to emphasize a particular aspect of it, but at, uh, at the same time, uh, it's like, again, the example of, of equality, no? It is a, it's a political ideal, it's a critique to something, which is inequality, which is the opposite now. So it's a critique to something that is happening. And at the same time, it sets a research agenda. So there are people like Piketty or, or Milanovic or many others in, um, in uh, social science that they're studying inequalities and equality. So, and there are people who are making a normative theories of, of, of equality. Uh, yeah. So in, in that sense, I, I, see, I see the growth in the same sense. So, but just to not sound so vague, yes, I see the growth first and foremost as a critique of the craziness, of the madness of, of economic growth, which is something specific. It's the idea that GDP can grow 3% every year to infinity because 3% growth per year means 12 times growth of the economy by the end of the century and infinity in two centuries. So the first, first and foremost is a critique to this, no? And second, it captures this idea of slowing things down, no? Like producing and consuming less, which doesn't mean producing and consuming less of everything, but producing and consuming less of things that we up to now have thought it's important to produce and consume more, no? Like extract more materials, produce more, uh, construct more roads, have more airports, fly more, fly faster, move faster. So all these things, slowing them down. And of course, at the same time, um, 
producing more of things that we need right now, like uh, healthcare infrastructures or renewable energy, which is uh, crucial, etc. 